The keyboard only challenge is dead. Well, sort of. First, I don't recommend you try this. This is just for educational purposes. For those of you that wanted to know how I got the keyboard only to work for Valorant, it's complicated. Normally, you could use Windows Ease of Access, which can make your arrow keys move your mouse. This works on the desktop and other games. However, Riot Vanguard, Valorant's anti-cheat, blocks this. Now, I had to figure out why. Why does it do this? And after some Googling, I found out that cheaters often use virtual input devices for cheats. It's how they spin bot, how they aim bot. And that's what Vanguard directly blocks. It just so happens that window accessibility also changes your arrow keys to a virtual input device, like a mouse. So then, we're kind of doomed. We either have to bypass Vanguard, which is considered cheating in Riot's 2 OS, or we just give up. I mean, you guys already know where this is going, right? Because I've, I've made a couple of Valorant keyboard only videos, so you already know where this is going, but think about it. Just take a step back and let's think about it really quick. How would we even do this? How would we even start something like this? We know that the software that Windows already gives us doesn't work, so we have to try to figure it out ourselves. All we need to do is like rebind our keyboard controls to imitate a mouse. That's all you realistically have to do. And you know, some keyboards already have proprietary software. If you have a Razer keyboard, you have Razer Synapse. Quickly going through Synapse, like, you can't really imitate mouse movements with keyboards, unfortunately. Maybe you could, I just didn't find it. Like like that. However, there's a software that I've been using. It's called Rewas. I'm not sponsored by them at all, but it's what I've been using. Rewas, it, it works pretty well. It was actually intended for controller users rather than this keyboard only challenge, but it works pretty well. You can remap your keyboard into mouse movements and all that type of stuff. All the keys, you know, left click, right click, all of it. And that's what I've been using. The only reason why I haven't really shown anyone this is because it's against Riot's TOS. I know that you can and probably will eventually get banned. Okay, so how do you start Rewas? How do you set it up? I'm just gonna show you really quick. When you start Rewast, you'll have on the right side, you'll have your devices, and on the left side, you'll have a game profile. You might not have Valorant already. You can see I already have one, but you might not have it already. You just add a game profile, name it. You can name it Valorant. That's what I did. And just go ahead and add. I'll just go ahead and click double click Valorant. Then you'll be approached with the image like this. Now, all you have to do here is click add. This will add a command. Go ahead and press the key that you want to map to. For example, in our case, we're gonna do arrow keys. So up arrow. And then we have to change what the rewas mapping is. For us, we want up arrow to look up, your mouse to look up. Therefore, it's not gonna be Xbox, it's not gonna be keyboard, and it's not gonna be command line. Therefore, you untick all these, go ahead and click, and then look for the one that says mouse up. Oh, right there, mouse up. And now, whenever I use my arrow key up, my mouse will go up. For example, you see now my mouse is going up. This will also work in game. So, but that's not the only thing we have to do though. We have to go left, and then the mouse left, right, mouse right, down, mouse down. And now when I apply this to Rewas, it works. This will also work in game. Now, if you want to adjust the sensitivity, you could go over here and then you have the virtual mouse sensitivity. It says virtual mouse settings, do not worry. It actually imitates a mouse instead of having the virtual mouse setting. This is the most important step. Go down to input devices and where it says emulate mouse mappings on behalf of, make sure to choose the mouse that you're actually using. Do not leave it on virtual input device. This will not work for Valorant. And this is also what causes Vanguard to flag your account and potentially ban it. Once you're finished with that, that's all. It should work perfectly in Valorant. Go ahead and launch up the range and see if it works. Dude, I'm better, man. I'm fucking better, dude. Haha, <laughs> little bitch. Little bitch. You want to see Vandal, right? I'll show you Vandal. Nah, on site. I mean, Rewas isn't without its own flaws too. You need a little bit of finesse. You know, like the only way it really worked was a hidden setting. You had to like imitate your sensitivity to scale with your native mouse sensitivity, which is like, you wouldn't expect that to be the option that you need to take to work, right? It's very, very weird. And it's very out of the blue. It's weird as well that like the only reason why you even have to go to this length is because Valorant blocks virtual input devices. No other game that I can think of actually does this. Shit, he's to my left. Nice. Dude, it's too easy, bro. It's too easy. Now, I get asked where's the next Valorant video a lot by you guys, and I've been silent. I won't say I'm burned down at Valorant. The truth is, I can't even continue even though I want to. I can't continue the challenges that made the game fun. If you don't think about pro player ranked, what is there in Valorant? Let's be honest. That's where people get burned out on, and that's why the content creators are burned out. You, that's why all the content you see on YouTube for Valorant is challenge content nowadays, or smurfing. Creators like Eggwick and WestJet, they voice their concerns, they have quitting Valorant. I mean, that's fine. I don't really mind it. I love challenge content. That's the majority of my future content, in fact. I just can't continue, and that hurts a lot. I still haven't left. I'm here trying to make it work. But now with the bans, I am not able to continue the mobile Valorant and keyboard only series. Dumb pitch. No, dude! 
All I'll say is expect some type of challenge content on CS. The options for CS is limitless. Really it is. Maybe I'll try a flight stick, maybe a fighting game controller. Just let me know what you want. And I'll see you guys next time. One more jungle. So much better than these guys.